All right, peace to you and yours, wherever you may be. I love you. I tend you leave for free. Quick deal on the Jorge Masvidal and Kobe Covington fight. I believe it's going to be tough for Masvidal to win this fight uh, based upon the, uh, you know, basically just looking at both of their styles of fighting. And uh, sure, explosively, uh, Masvidal could get a knockout, you know, but Covington is very durable. Um, he, of course, was not knocked out by Usman, unfortunately. Um, and Masvidal was. Anybody can get caught. Um, Covington may get caught. But just based upon their style of fighting and the, uh, the durability and the output of... Uh, of Covington, I have to say that I think that he has the edge in this in this particular fight. Of course, that is not who I will want to win. I think y'all can tell that. Um, I am. It's going to be, I think, a very exciting card, uh, even with the cancellation of uh, Dos Santos and uh, you know in the in the in the uh, co-main event. However, uh, I'm not buying this UFC card, and uh, I am going to be canceling my UFC uh, subscription uh, because I, I really just don't feel like the UFC is being fair to their fighters. So I'm canceling mine, and I'm encouraging the rest of the world cancel theirs too and stop buying the, these higher subscriptions and whatnot, or these higher pay-per-views, you know, uh, I haven't bought the last few, though I haven't made a video about it, um, I just think they're not doing right, man, you know, uh, somewhere between an 8 and a $12 billion company, and, you know, they don't pay their people right, man, and, and then they got a whole bunch of, uh, Sambos that, that are fighters over there that, you know, basically lap dogs uh, saying, you know, you signed the contract, you signed the contract. You know, people do things when, when they're hurting for money, man. And the, the relative uh, monopoly that the UFC has you know, they don't have a monopoly, but it, relatively speaking, they have a monopoly. They're considered the biggest game in town. People do things, they get on, and then they bring a different level of value to the company than what the minimum was. You know, it's almost like buying life insurance. So, uh, they came in with the expectation. The company is betting that, that you'll do well, but they can pay you less. You're betting that you'll do well and be able to renegotiate renegotiate your contract. Let's not act like you know we're brand new here. It happens all the time in in other sports. But even at the time when somebody is is leaving their con, you know their con or their contract is ending, the contract is set up in such a way where you know if they were a champion or something like that, you know they're basically trying to. Uh, strong arm him in the multiple fights as long as they're a champion they're required to have one more fight until they lose what that's crazy man you know so that's all i got man um i, I stand with the people that's risking their lives